Welcome to another episode of Izzy Video. I'm Izzy Hyman. In this video, I'm going to share with you several different ways that you can hide a lavalier microphone for your videos. But before I do that, I want to make a recommendation, and that is that if you don't have to hide it, don't. The reason why is because the best quality comes from a lavalier that's exposed. Once you hide it, you can run into issues with materials and other obstacles that can create problems for you. So if you don't have to, don't bother hiding it. Now that said, there are a lot of different types of videos where you need to hide a lavalier microphone, where you still want to get good audio, but you can't have the mic show up in the picture. This video will be helpful in those situations because like I said, we're going to cover several different ways that you can hide one. Let's start by talking about some of the obstacles that you can run into when you're hiding a lavalier microphone. The first one is material noise. And what I mean is when you put the lavalier mic, this is a little one right here, as you can see, when you put it underneath clothing, sometimes what happens is clothing will rub against it. And if you have clothing, like this is a shirt right here, I'll just rub it against the microphone capsule. And if you listen, hopefully you have headphones on so you can hear this, but if you listen very closely, you can hear the material rubbing against the mic. That happens all the time. So that's the first thing to watch out for. We're gonna talk about how to fix it. I just want you to be aware of that being a potential problem. Another potential issue you might run into is cable noise. And what I'm talking about is noise from the cable that's attached to your microphone. In this case, I have my microphone capsule here on the end of the cable. Then the cable runs to a transmitter, which of course, you know, the transmitter is what sends the signal to the camera that we're using right now. Well, watch or listen actually with your ears as I do this. I'm just gonna rub my fingers along the cable and you can hear that any movement against this cable creates noise in the microphone capsule because it's attached to that capsule. So yeah, these vibrations are gonna create noise and that's gonna ruin your audio. So we need to talk about ways that we can reduce the amount of movement of the cable so that we don't run into that issue. Another issue you can run into is body hair. And if you have somebody that's hairy like I am, I don't have a lot of hair on my head, but it happens that I have some hair on my chest and yes, I'm actually gonna do this. All right, so here's the microphone capsule. You can very easily pick up noise as hair rubs against the mic capsule, okay? It's kind of weird, I know, but we're gonna talk about ways that you can battle against that too because that's a realistic situation that you can deal with. If your talent happens to be wearing a shirt and tie like what you see me wearing right now, then this might be an option for you. See, right now I have the lav mic on my tie and it's faced front so you can see the mic. Well, what if you just turn it around and clip it to the back. This might be an option for you. So you clip it to the back of the tie, it's now hidden, and what you see is the clip itself, but that could be just a tie clip, like this, right? And this won't always be something that you can do in every kind of shoot, but it might work depending on the kind of video you're shooting. Another option for hiding a lav microphone in a tie is to hide it behind the tie. So let's demonstrate how to do that. So I'm gonna turn my tie around, then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie, not a knight, not a tight knot, but a very loose knot here. And this is gonna help create strain relief. It's gonna stop noise from traveling up the cable and into the microphone capsule itself. So that is a loop there that we created. The next thing I'm gonna do is attach this. Okay, so let's start with the wire. And I just have a couple little pieces of gaffer tape here. So let's say I'm gonna attach it right here on the back of my tie. Try to do this in a way where it doesn't look too complex. And then I'll do the same thing here at the bottom. And if you wanted to, you could also have a piece of tape on the loop itself, that's fine. And the nice thing about using gaffer's tape, by the way, is that it's great, it sticks to clothing without leaving a residue. So gaffer tape is great for this kind of thing. If you're sticking to people's skin, you probably wanna use first aid tape because some people do have an allergic reaction to gaffer tape. Okay, so now we have this mic head, this mic capsule that's basically just sitting there exposed. And of course, when I turn this around, it's gonna rub against clothing. So we need to figure out a way to stabilize that and keep it from rubbing. Well, one thing you can do is you can create this little, this little triangle out of gaffer tape. So I have a strip of gaffer tape here and I'm just gonna fold it into a triangle and then fold it over and then fold it again. And I'm keeping it loose and you'll see that the sticky part is on the outside. Say, so I have this, it's almost like a tiny little shock mount now. What I can do is attach it to the mic head. And you wanna be careful not to actually get any of the sticky stuff on the mic capsule itself on the grill, because that's where the sound goes in. Now I can just stick it there to my tie. And do the same thing again with a second triangle, like this. Okay, so now I have another triangle there and I can do the same thing to the other side. So I've basically sandwiched the microphone there between the two little tape triangles. And now I can turn around 
and basically stick this to my shirt. Then what happens is it helps stabilize the microphone so it stays in one place and you're not going to hear as much noise as you would if you didn't do this kind of thing. Now you can run into noise still sometimes doing this. It's not a perfect solution, but this is going to improve things dramatically. Another option for hiding a lavalier microphone in the tie is to actually hide it in the knot of the tie itself. And here's one way you can do that. So we're going to pretend like this cable is inside my shirt. So I, it's coming from inside here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's just bring it up through here. I'm going to dip it down in the front of the tie and put it down until it's exposed right there. You see that? Okay, now I can close my tie and I can just, right now it's poking out too far, but if you have just the tip of the capsule poking out, you can't really see the microphone, but if the capsule, the tip of it is exposed, then it can still pick up the audio that it's hearing. And because it's an omnidirectional microphone, it really doesn't matter that it's pointed straight down towards the ground because it's picking up, as you can hear, it's picking up the audio from my mouth, even above it. So this is another option when it comes to hiding a lavalier microphone in a tie. If your talent is not wearing a tie, but they do have a collar on this shirt, then one option is to hide the lavalier microphone inside the collar underneath it. That's what we've done here, and I'll show you how we've done it. Turn sideways and flip up the collar here. You can see that I have used basically the same technique that we used on the back of the tie. We have two triangles of tape around the microphone capsule to help stabilize it, a piece of tape followed by a loop, another piece of tape, and then we just dress the cable around the back and drop it inside my shirt around the back side so that it's out of sight. Okay, so that's how we've done that. It's the same thing as on the back of the tie, except it's underneath the collar. Let me just get this kind of uh, in place here. All right, so what happens is when you have it the way you want it, then the microphone is out of sight. You can still hear things nicely, but you're not gonna hear a lot of rustling of the clothing and stuff because the microphone's been stabilized with the tape. Another great option is to hide the microphone in the front of the shirt be between the buttons and behind the fabric. And I'll just show you what I mean here. You can see that we use the same technique that we used before with the triangles, starting to come a little loose. And you've got tape, and then the loop here for strain relief, and then the microphone, the lavalier microphone itself can be attached using the triangles and the fabric so that when you close it up, you can see and actually hear that you've hidden the mic, but it still sounds. You can still hear what I'm saying, and you're not gonna get a lot of rustling from the fabric because once again, we taped everything in place. Another option is to attach it to a T-shirt beneath the outer shirt, and you can see here that Everything is still the same technique that we've already talked about several times before, but now you've attached it to the t-shirt, and so it's very easy to have an outer shirt around it, and you're not going to get a lot of the rustling, but what you will get is audio that you can hear and a microphone that's disappeared from the frame. What if your talent doesn't have a t-shirt on underneath their shirt? Well, you have different options. You could attach it to the inside of the fabric, but another thing that you can do is attach it to the chest directly. Now, in a situation like this where I have chest hair, that could be a problem, so I'm going to set this down there for a moment. I'm going to take this piece of tape and I'm going to just tape it right to my chest. Now that's going to hurt later when I take it off, but for now what it does is it gives me a nice surface to attach this. So yeah, I can do the same thing, same technique, tape, the tape triangles, the loops, close up my shirt, and then what I have is a nicely hidden, nicely hidden lavalier microphone. And now keep in mind, that I mentioned before, some people are allergic to gaffer tape. So you wouldn't want to attach gaffer tape directly to their skin in a lot of cases. But you could just use first aid tape for an example. It's the same thing, you just put first aid tape down instead. But yeah, this is working for me just fine. What if they just have a t-shirt on and nothing else? Can you hide a microphone? And the answer is yes, you can. The same techniques that we've already talked about before, except what I've done in this case is I've run the wire up around the back, underneath the collar here, and you can see that here it is, underneath. Okay. So I'm using the same thing, the triangles, and one triangle touches the fabric, and the other one touches my skin, there. And you know, once you have it in place, then you can kind of move around and do what you need to do, and you're not going to get a lot of shifting around. One thing I should also mention about lavalier microphones is that they're known, when they're manufactured, it's known that they're very frequently going to be put underneath clothing. So what they do is they actually tune them so that there's a little more higher high frequency in there, because you lose high frequency when you go underneath clothing. Now, if you like the high frequency sound, you might feel like you miss it, and so you wanna boost that up in using EQ and post, and that's fine. 
but just keep in mind that lavalier microphones very frequently have a higher uh, frequency sound to them because they know when they make them that they're going to be underneath clothing. I should also mention that if your talent is a female, a very common place to hide a lavalier microphone is on the bra right in the center on the front of the chest. It's a per perfect location to hide it. Anyway, as I mentioned before, if you can, have the microphone exposed in the shot because you're going to get the best audio. But if you need to hide it, I've just shown you several different ways you can do it. Hope you found the information in this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.